Hi, Bob Paskins here, sales consultant and creator of The Growth Matrix, where we elevate salespeople and sales processes to achieve desired growth. Today, we're gonna to look at four distinct personalities of salespeople and how to make sure you pair them correctly with your business. This is part of the coaching component of The Growth Matrix. Have you ever wondered why the salesperson that you have hired just doesn't seem to be working out for your company? Perhaps you've seen that person excel at another sales job. Or perhaps they scored off the charts with the sales tests, yet they're struggling with your company. Or perhaps you know that the person knows that they are good at sales, but they can't get traction within your current company. Using an analogy, it would be similar to seeing a person who excels at soccer and think they would be great for your team. There's only one problem. Your team doesn't play soccer, they play hockey. And instead of having the sales cleats grab a hold of the grass turf, they're actually a detriment on a sheet of ice. In my experience, there are four types of salespeople and each type thrives in a specific selling environment. Let me give you a basic overview of each type. The first is the hunter. The hunter loves going out each day to find new customers. Hunters thrive in an environment of autonomy with the knowledge that they will eat what they kill. Once they win the business, they will look to move on to their next opportunity. Hunters are not concerned with the relationship management with current clients. Frankly, they don't have time for that as they've already moved on to the next hunt. Hunters are great for companies who are looking for new customer growth. The second type of salesperson is the farmer. Farmers are almost the exact opposite of hunters. Farmers are great cultivators of relationships and work to make sure their current clients are happy. The farmer's goal is customer retention, keeping the clients that they have. Their growth is considerably slower as they rely on, on their customer base and typically only expand through referrals or introductions. A farmer's primary objective is current customer satisfaction. The third type of salesperson is the engineer. The engineer loves the technical aspect of the sale. They will do a deep dive into the product and understand everything the product can do for the customer. Sales conversations with them are very technically based and can involve a great deal of data or metrics. Engineers thrive with the very technical sales process, partnering with a buyer who also needs to know everything about the product or service, as well as what the product and service can directly do for them. The fourth type of salesperson is the soldier. Soldiers do well when they have a specific set of tasks in front of them. Soldiers will look to complete that set of tasks in a timely fashion and have a great feeling of accomplishment when they are done. In a sales setting, soldiers thrive when they're provided a set of qualified generated sales leads. They will diligently work each lead and deliver the results based upon those objectives. Now salespeople can show the traits of more than one category, but each salesperson does have a dominant trait. As a business owner, your job is to determine what salesperson trait works best for your company and then equip your staff with that type of salesperson. Here's a sales tip. Know all four types of salespeople. Then pair the proper type of salesperson to the corresponding sales role within your company. Matching the salesperson and their role within your organization will dramatically influence the results as well as create an environment where your sales staff can best succeed. If you or your company would like help growing your revenues or learning more about pairing the right salesperson trait to your organization, reach out to me through my website at bobpaskins.com. Thanks for watching.